Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Coming at you from my back porch. <laughs> and we got a coordinator of rocks so we don't uh, <laughs> drive people crazy. Um, we want to talk about something we've been going through a lot, and you may be as well, and that is change. Uh, starting with changing RVs uh, in January. We have some neighbors that are talking to <laughs> us. Uh, but in January, we we traded the RV, we traded the fifth wheel. And it's bittersweet anytime you go through some kind of change. Uh, it's like that first car that you loved. We knew the fifth wheel, we knew where it had taken us, but it was time. And man, when I look back on the amazing trips that we've taken already in that micro mini just in a few months, uh, going down and camping on the beach at Padre yes. or, or driving the Natchez Trace and over in the Smoky Mountains. It was a number. We've, we've been to a number of campsites that yes. we could not have gotten into that site had we had the larger arc, the fifth wheel. And so it was a hard change, but it's made a world of difference. I have not regretted it one minute. No. It has been incredible. And um, the other major change we've made is moving from the Metroplex to the Hill Country. And I think there may be a few people that when they hear change, they get all excited and think it's something new and different. It's not. Um, no, I'm not so. one of them. Um, <clears throat> and it's difficult, you know, to, to leave what you know. We, we each lived less than 30 miles from the hospital we were born in. And so to leave everything that was familiar uh, and to come here has been a big change. Um, and it's helped me see, I did not know I am a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was a hoarder. <laughs> Until um, I started having to try and call through packing stuff. And, uh, and it was difficult. And I have just a leaving friends and the familiar and but it's one of those things. There's a um, a passage when the first time that God provided manna, um, God told the people go out and gather enough for one day, but don't hold on to it any longer than I told you to, or else it's going to turn into maggots. And sure enough, a few folks, I'm sure, you know, had to <laughs> test that. But part of life is going through change and yes. letting go of things sometimes so that you can take hold of something that's even better. And um, I feel like we've done that by moving. Just like we did with the fifth wheel, it was hard to let go of what we knew. But man, I tell you, the amazing things we've been able to do because we did that. And, uh, and so we, we've had a number of people asking about how the move is going, and it was a... We are here now. It was a six weeks period from the time we first saw... Um, this, this duplex. The, the place where we're living, and yes, we actually did find um, a duplex. So uh, we do have a, an amazing back porch that goes all the way across both, and we're sitting under... Uh, a ceiling fan and so it's just awesome and amazing uh, while letting go is hard and so you know there may be some of you that are facing some changes and and it's difficult one of the things that's really difficult for me about this change is that my mind was telling me I'm young and able to do a lot <laughs> of things <laughs> as we've been going through this my body's been saying no you're not, not. <laughs> What are you thinking? You can't do that anymore. You can't. Uh, it's been humbling. I'll tell you, it's really been humbling. But uh, we appreciate all of you who've been asking about the move and how it, and yes, moving is not for the faint of heart. Uh, it's not for, but it's been good. It's been, it's been really good because yes. we've had to call through. We've had to get rid of a lot of things that we shouldn't have been hanging on to. Uh, that, you know, it was time to get rid of. And so we've got kind of a clean, fresh start. For the most part, I found a few boxes. 
And some of those boxes, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I couldn't put a room on it because it's just stuff from everywhere. But uh, I decided I really didn't need my elementary school report cards to validate me. I still have mine. <laughs> I want to make sure. You know, I've got that gold star by golly. I earned it and I'm keeping it. But anyway, um, we, we do want to thank all of you who are asking. And we want to be an encouragement to any of you who may be facing some change. We understand it's hard, it's difficult, but for you know, it's it's just a part of life is, is having to go through some changes. And um, there's another chapter, another side, and we have our next two travels already planned. <laughs> uh, we deserve a rest. We've uh, and and one other thing I want to say about this change, and that is. There's a state park not too far from where we are, about 30 miles from where we are. And that was a really cool thing that we were able to do whenever we came out to sign papers is we brought the RV out and left it for a week while we drove back and forth virtually right. every day, either going home and packing a truck and then driving back and letting it get unloaded, spend the night in the RV, go back. And so we made a number of trips back and forth and it was so nice to have that RV yes. that when we were here and had no beds or anything set up uh, or newer sheets or anything like that, we knew yes. we got a home just and down the, the road knew. and it was something that was comfortable and familiar. And so uh, that was a real blessing yes. to be able to have somewhere that we could go and just relax for a few hours and, and forget about everything that we had going on. <laughs> but uh, um, and we did have one person ask for us to have a fight on camera so y'all would know we were sisters. Trust me, when you're moving, <laughs> yeah. we just chose not to turn the camera off. Uh, but nothing major. We just, you know, just both worn out is really what it was. But anyway, um, like I said, y'all have been such an encouragement to us as we've been going through this time of change and we just want to reach out and, uh, Say, if you're there, if you're not going through a period of change now, you probably will be soon. Yes. And uh, take heart that there is... Uh, There's the other side. There's a back porch with a ceiling fan <laughs> waiting for you somewhere. Thanks, Thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers.